Hey, what's happening guys? Take a look at this beautiful power supply. This is the Matrix DC Power Supply MPS 100C. And if we can scroll in there a little bit, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but it says 30 volts, 5 amps, 150 watts. Uh, Matrix sent this out to us free of charge for our consideration, so thank you to our friends at Matrix Technology Incorporated. Again, this is the uh, MPS series. 100 so uh, they also have an MPS 101 which is a 60 volt this is just the 30 volt which is fine I don't do a lot of uh, 60 volt kind of stuffs so here you can see some of the information about it we have a 5 bit high precision LED display window voltage and current can be adjusted using the number keyboard or the knob voltage current and power displayed simultaneously 1 millivolt, 0.1 milliamp resolution, list output function, low ripple, low noise, intelligent fan control, a K op optional communication interface for SCPI and Modbus, temperature monitoring, that just means the internal fan, it doesn't monitor the temperature of your experiment or whatever you're working on, over voltage, over current, over protection, and it has nine sets of data you can store here. This power supply comes with a calibration certificate. This was calibrated on September 19th, a temperature of 25 degrees C, and you can see the calibration results there. And it states in the manual that uh, it should be calibrated once a year. I'll tell you the truth, it's probably been calibrated for the last time unless something goes wrong. All right, let's power it up. I know I got scared too the first time I heard that. I'm like, oh no. But that is just uh, testing itself, going through an internal self test. So if we look here, you can see we have our voltage display, our current display, and our power display. We have numeric buttons. This is a rotary encoder. We have a plus, a minus, and a ground. This ground goes directly to a ground lug on the back of the unit our power supply here we have current set voltage set save recall menu escape and output so we talked about how it, um, it has nine different sets of data storage and they can be recalled here by using the recall button so we're in we're in uh, one right now so if I hit recall one enter this is setting number one 1 1.8 volts at one amp recalled setting number two is 3.3 .3 volts at 1.2 amp I think you get the idea of where this is going, right? Number three is five volts at two amps. Yeah, so on and so forth and so on and so forth. Now to engage the output, we just click there. You now see we are in constant voltage mode at uh, 8.998 volts. We're showing a clear nine volts here. Let's see, we recall number six enter this is a 15 volt you can see it there very nice so one of the really nice things about this is the fact that you have nine separate data ports you can put in which is very cool you know you can set this like i did you know we have the low power uh processor all the way up to Whoops. Damn it. Pardon me. Uh, recall 8. Enter. There we go. So that's like up to uh, 27 volts. Which is actually what I used to charge my, uh, my vacuum since I lost its, <laughs> its adapter. Anyway, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this is a linear supply there's no switching in here let's get it open and uh, we'll take a look inside see what's going on all right I got the screws removed oh I thought I did it looks like I missed one I thought I had them 
all out. There we go. Apparently I gotta take this one off too. One second. Come on. What the heck is that? I gotta take all of this off? No, there we go. So, haha, <laughs> there she blows. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's start our, our inside look by starting up here at the brains of the operation. Up here you can see this... Uh, this cable here travels all the way to the back to a little subboard and that comes to our RS-485 or RS-232 our exterior communications and then we have a serial communications IC right there we've got our clock chip here looks like 2.457 megahertz. That's an odd value. I got a display driver here, a beeper. Basically, <clears throat> this is your digital controls. So let's start in the back. Right here, this is our IEC power coming in. You can see we have the ground lug right here. And it is going screwed down to this, which is screwed down to the chassis. So we have a very strong ground connection. And it's screwed in, which is nice. It makes it easier to remove. Now on this subboard here, this is our rectification. Right here we have a huge, huge transistor. There, can you see in there that is a 2SC5200, which is a huge NPN power transistor. Then over here we have a uh, Darlington array in a chip. And then over here we have another NPN. This is a D880O. We've got one diode here. There's a second one. Is this really halfway rectification? Yeah, at least we're smoothing it. We've got a 63 volt, 10,000 microfarad Sam Young cap. And then I don't know, when we were switching at the beginning through this video, did you notice? These three relays switching in and out, they switch in and out really hard, which is great. That means they're making and breaking positive contacts. And then finally here, we have our central toroidal transformer. So if we follow our live and our neutral in here, they're coming into the transformer and then they're coming out back over here with these other wires going back into our board and finally coming to our outputs right up in here boom boom and now the um, this ground output here remember the one I told you is connected directly to the one in the back so if you follow here that is this one right here which is connected to this wire which is soldered to the case And if you follow this one, our input ground also soldered to the case. And finally, this ground screw on the back is the case. So all of our grounds are put together nicely and neatly. And everything is copacetic there. All right, let's put the lid back on her. 
I can honestly tell you this is the nicest laboratory grade power supply I have ever personally owned. It's fantastic. Um, now, if you're thinking to yourself, why would you need nine different power things? Well, you probably don't. But having just a couple, you know, where you can say recall 3.3 at 1.2 amps or 9 volts at 1.5 amps is really useful as a guy experimenting from home. But where this really comes in handy is using those communications interfaces on the back. If you're running a product through, you know, a different test, you can go through here, apply nine different voltages and currents, nine different power levels to it. And it can all be automated. Nobody needs to sit here. It's a calibrated power supply. It uses a toroidal uh, transformer. So it's not a switching. It's a linear power supply, which means um, RF speaking, it's going to be a quiet power supply. So the next thing we're going to test out is uh, have a look at the Ripple. All right. So I've got it hooked up to a 12 volt output and it is going through a 50 watt, uh, 50 ohm power resistor. And other than some occasional interference spikes, it's fine. Let's uh, call number six. Try it at 15 volts. It's a little dirtier at 15 volts. Let's try it low voltage, 3.3 volts. Not terrible. We're getting a 0 0.03 volts peak to peak. I'm perfectly you know, fine with that, not a problem whatsoever. So I think I've taken you through just about everything, oh, except for the menu. So there's our list. Load, edit. Info. It is currently 29C in here, version 1.0. See, there's our PSET. On power up, is the output going to be on or off? I like it off. Beep on. BRIG3. Brightness. Brightness is at level three. Okay, voltage, voltage cut off low. Voltage cut off high. Current cut off low, current cut off high, init and uh, address 01, baud rate, that's all this stuff so that we can connect to it. But yeah, like I said, this is uh, better than any power supply I've ever owned before in my life. So the price on this professional power supply is $259, which is a little bit on the high side for a single output power supply. For just another $30, you can get the Siglent SPD-1305X, which is a 30 volt, 5 amp, 150 watt power supply. Hang on, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. That one was a single output. Well, the one I'm talking about is the Siglent SPD-3303 DC power supply, which is a... Uh, what, either a two or a three output? Yeah, three output, three channel for just two ninety nine. But what do you need? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just have to uh, you have to buy for what you need. Do you need three outputs? Do you need two outputs? Do you need one output? Either way, this is a strong contender to put this on your desk. I don't think you'd have any trouble with this. I like it. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, big thanks to you guys for watching, and a big thanks to Matrix for sending this out for our consideration.
That's it. I'm out. Peace.